when you purposefully unlock your phone so she can see that you've been cheating on her. When she says talk to me and you know she's not worth the effort so you just tell her it's fine. sit with your back in the chair why that's not what the queen would want yeah no for sure because that's when i think about like what we should be doing i think mostly <sighs> about what the queen of england i feel RIP, so would think of my behavior i feel so centered right now yeah are you really happy yeah my mojo is dojoing <laughs> in this it's casa so good. house in this casa house <laughs> guys i cannot believe it's really thirty dollars thirty dollars it's really nice. Aaron I said, I was like, there's no way. I was like, that's, I was like, who, who, did you pull it out? Or I feel like I saw it. No, I pulled it out. I was it like, was love oh, at first sight. hold on. When I tell you it was love at first sight. I can't, I can't. I might, <laughs> my, like, my breath is I gone. Think, I know. I think you might love that more than you love me. It's a possibility. <laughs> I think Aaron's gender identity we've discovered is denim vest. Oh my God. And it's ass washed. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Instead of your job being computer, your job is my vest. My job is vest. <laughs> I feel so happy. This Ken's also, job is vest. I was like, oh, I'll just wear it. Like, this could be perfect for Halloween. I wasn't even going to dress up as Ken. Yeah. Now I'm like, I have to now. Now you have to. Because um, you have the, the light wash, uh, like ripped oh, denim jeans. I'll and wear you have it. The, the chucks and everything. And you're doing your Kim Possible today. Mm hmm. It's like reverse, I realized. You're oh, supposed why? to have green pants and a black oh, shirt. it is. But I'm into it, though. It's like an, a, an alternate reality. I'm here for it. It's like that What it, when people go to Disneyland. Because you're not allowed to dress up as characters at Disneyland. Wait, what? You, yeah, you can't wear like a costume. Little kids can, but adults oh. can't. Because you might confuse the kids. Oh, my God. I never thought about that. And so like it's a safety concern. That's an actual concern. park rule? Yes. If you, they'll kick you out or like ask you to change or something. Because if you actually look like one of the characters and then kids start to flock to you, that's like a safety concern. Because you're not okay, like a safe sense. or yeah, credit, you know, you're not yeah. A yeah, you're not they like can't working. tell if you're a safe person oh or not. God. People do this yeah. thing called Disney bounding, I think is what it's called. Okay. Where you like evoke the like feeling. Or like... It's like the vibe of okay. a character, but you're not dressed up in a way that is like so obviously. So a lot of people will do it where like they match mm -hmm. the color scheme of a character, but using oh, yeah, modern of clothes. Of course, yeah. And so I feel like I'm sort of impossible bounding oh. today a little bit it's like like the vibe but it's not like a, an outright totally. creation does the disney princess you align with or like resonate with say something about i feel like people probably think it does mm. i don't know how that i feel a can about of worms. it yeah do you have a disney princess that you mulan yeah i get that without a doubt i mean growing up i was obsessed with ariel but i think yeah. mostly because i was obsessed with water you did. My, my dad would call me fish when I was a little That's girl. That's actually so cute. Because I so refused to get out of the bath or like I was just like just swimming. I like my bath time, we'd be done with yeah. bath time and I would be in the water for like 30, just 40 extra off. minutes. Yeah. And you're like, please, can I just stay? Well, I feel like too, I would always wonder that too because we live in the desert. Mm -hmm. Like water is like such a yes. novelty. Yes. Well, and my dad loves the beach. And so like I always oh, loved yeah. going swimming with him and like the pool and stuff. Like I thought the, the water was just like the coolest thing. Even now, I feel like water is like such a... Like big bodies of water, so oh. soothing. Oh, I know. I love like, you know? especially when we get a chance to be in the oh, ocean. Yes. Like, don't take me so out. I'll good. prune up here and die yes. here if I need to. Yes. Like, just I want to sit on the beach all rot. day. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I want barnacles. Yes. I wonder what it would me feel too. like to have barnacles on you. Probably I guess bad. in a way, zits are kind of like barnacles. Not really. Because sometimes, like, little little fish feed off the whales because they have barnacles on them. Uh -huh. And so, like, sometimes when I have zits, you help pick me. them off. Yeah. So you're yeah, like, but I don't eat them though. I'm like a whale. Okay. And then you're like a... And your zits are barnacles and I'm yeah. a tiny fish. Yeah. I love that. Especially because all of the fat phobes that love to leave me hate comments. Uh, that's like the exact opposite of what people would say. I'm whale. Yeah. No. no, no I know. I love oh, that. Yeah. I love it too. <laughs> um, except just to be clear, barnacles are alive. You know that, right? What? It's important to me that you know that. <laughs> what? Barnacles are I alive. I thought they're like hard water. No, 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 no. Barnacles How do they are the living whales, beings. Then? They're parasites. It's like a parasitic fungus. Kind no, of. it's not yeah. a fungus, but it's yeah. It's what grows on the bottom of boats? Barnacles. Yeah, I know. they're alive. I'm telling you. Well, I don't live by the ocean, so I don't have to know. Okay, this. that's I don't fair. Yeah, we're things. desert rats. We don't okay, so I wouldn't that. want barnacles on me then. No, yeah, because they oh, kind like of in the same it, way like mm, leeches. Uh -huh, so. Yeah, okay. that's why I was like, ooh, maybe not. What are we talking about today? 
Um, I think I should be asking you what we're talking about today because I know enough. I've been we've been seeing some TikToks yes. lately, yes. and I think it's very much the uh, are the straights okay again? Yeah. The, uh, for for once, I know about a thing that I haven't talked to death to you um, well, before think, we got here. Yeah, I think you're in for a surprise today. I am ready. I my first thought is um, before we even get into this, since I know the topic and you guys don't know yet. Well, you guys saw the title. You saw of the, the video. title. Yeah, you know what we're talking about. Um, but my impression is, I'm just gonna say this right now, is that men like to be in a relationship with women, so they have something to stick their dick in, not because they actually enjoy being friends. Yes. That's like women. very much a common denominator for the particular people in this Twitter thread. I want to be super clear, especially because like you are a cis man, right? Yeah. And you like being in relationship with women because so, yeah. you just love women. I do. I know. I say that. I've like, <laughs> I've just, ever since so, I was younger though, I don't know what it is. I wonder, it's not mommy. Is it mommy issues? It might be it mommy issues. It might be mommy issues. issues. <laughs> it's probably mommy issues. But to be fair, you do so just like <laughs> genuinely love and appreciate people. Yeah. You know? We've talked yeah, about this before. You're just like such a little social butterfly. I feel like especially before COVID, I used to be, yeah. Yeah. I'm just a crotchety, grumpy old man. That's not true. But even like, especially before COVID, you were always the person who wanted to be talking to people and like doing stuff, much to my dismay, because I'm a little hermit. Yeah. But which is so funny though, because your job literally revolves around talking to people. Yes. So it's so funny how that. Well, that's why I have no social battery for it at the end of the. I don't know how to fix these shorts. <laughs> I am one, I one need wardrobe know, malfunction is, away. It is so lucky that we're not like big influencers because that was such a gifable moment. Oh, no. <laughs> well, don't put that out there. No. I don't think anyone also, will. Also, I, I saw these shorts. They were $6 yeah, in clearance pretty, at Target. Yeah. And I said, for $6, how bad? They're not the right size. I'm going to tell you that right now. Well, they are. <laughs> I think they fit. I think, well, when you wear them by themselves... It highlights the fact that they might not be. Like, okay. I got a dumper in these. <laughs> <laughs> I need a okay. little beep beep when I but back I, up. You know yeah, what I'm okay. saying? To be clear, you're not talking about diaper butt, though, just to be super clear. Because no. it does sound like you're saying you have diaper butt, which you very much no. do not. No, when you say dumper. when I, It sounds like, to me, when you say dumper, <laughs> I think a dump, which I think of poopy in a diaper. Okay. I know that that's probably not what everybody thinks, but just. My brain's for, broken. For clarity's sake. But I think this is very much the, like male thing of okay. like these shorts are like touching my body and so therefore they're too small i feel like they're supporting everything a little too much if you know yes what I'm except saying. that that doesn't mean that they're too small you're just not used to that sensation well i mean they're you know what i'm saying I, fair they do fit you i guess is what i'm saying <laughs> thank i think you're encouraging you're not like, I feel like squeezing this is a selfish, yourself into I feel like this is a selfish small. thing for you though a little bit oh absolutely it is for sure i think you want them to fit me they do fit you okay. but i also want you to continue wearing them because you got a dumper <laughs> i Actually, I won't share how I describe them to my friend. So, yeah. First of all, uh, hi. Thanks for coming. Oh, welcome to the show. Hi. This is uh, uh, Bigly Therapeutic. There's a this lot. This is not Bigly Therapeutic. There's a lot to unpack here. Yeah. Uh, this is. There's a lot to unpack here. I'm Mickey. I'm Aaron. And uh, I have a dumper. <laughs> no. No. You can't Go let on. your intrusive thoughts win like that. <laughs> I'm so weak. I have no control. No. Yes, you do. We are talking about the Twitter thread today that everybody's talking about. This is crazy how this all this all came from girl math, right? No. Oh, this is separate from this girl is math. separate. It oh. might be tangentially related to girl math, I like, guess. I feel like they all kind of like bubbled up at the same time. Yeah, it might be somewhat of a reaction to girl math because okay. the same demographic of people who are putting rancid things in this Twitter thread are probably the same demographic of people who are trying to make fun of folks for talking about and using girl math. Yeah. And girl math like just makes sense to be so clear. It does. There's not a single thing in girl math that I've seen. And I'm like, no, that makes perfect sense. Like Thank you. the money thing, things being on sale. Yes. Like, Yes. Leaving or yeah. timing things. If, you, or, if the clothes are like buy one get one free or buy one get one half off or or like if they're if they're both fifty yeah. percent off, then it's like getting one thing for free. We've literally been. How does that not make sense? We've been girl mathing our whole life. Yes. Like if yes. You, we always buy our vacations like months and then it's months free. In advance. I'm like and wow, it's free. that's so dope. We got that's, we got an all inclusive free, free vacation. Yes. We've never been somewhere all inclusive. That's one of our dreams. Uh, same. Someday. The other thing that we do with girl math is using cash as monopoly oh, money free it's not real money it's not real money if, if it doesn't deduct from the number that's in my bank account on my that's real my, money. my bank app on my yeah. phone 
then it's fake money. Then it's free. Happen. Like we paid for one of my tattoo appointments oh, in all so cash. I, and we, I was like, I got a tattoo for free today. We by accidentally pulled out too much money yeah. months ago. Yes. And so it's just hurts. been sitting. But then it, it took so much time. It goes away it's eventually. Like it, it's like a money tree almost. Yes. It's like growing money. It's like Animal Crossing when you plant a money tree. Oh, I wish yes. you No, because then capitalism would find some way to ruin it. Yeah, they it, would exploit like, that You're not allowed sure. to have money trees. 100%. But no, girl math definitely makes sense. So it could be... Uh, partially a reaction to that because again like the same group of people is probably in this thread saying really shitty awful actually kind of violent things but we're talking about it today because i've seen a couple of tiktoks about it i have been perusing the thread um and so i'm going to going to explain it to you and read you some of these tweets because i'm curious about your perspective because again you are a cis man right you historically gravitate towards dating women Histor- I like fem, like yeah. feminism. Yeah, feminism. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I mean, you do like feminism too, but yeah, you tend to gravitate really towards. I don't really care. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who That's or a what good it's point. On, you know, yeah. you do gravitate to like feminists, I guess. Yeah. Though, so we're gonna talk about the Twitter thread today because there's okay. a lot for us to unpack there. So unpack or let's do it. Unload it on me. Do I have a boogies in my nose? Let me see. I can't see inside your nostril. You have to. No, no, no. Just lean back. Just lean back some. How much more? Just lean back a little bit. Stop. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> so fucking annoying, dude. Oh, <laughs> I feel like there's one in there. Do you want me to put my finger up there? No, thank you. Like, I feel like cleaning wounds and stuff or whatever is fine, but like, I don't want your fingers in my nose. That's fair. Okay. I could relate to that. You get on the same page with that? Yeah. Thank you. I don't think I would mind having your fingers in my nose. I don't think I want them in your nose, though. That's fair. It's not that I want that, but I think, like, if I, if I lost my hands okay. and you had to pick my nose for me. I would pick me, your nose for you, yeah. I'd be like, this is fine. Well, I'd get you one of those little... No, baby, my boogers are too hard for that. You couldn't slurp them out. I'm not sl- Jesus Christ. No, I'm talking about the little the, the suction bulb. cup for babies. Yeah, you couldn't suck yeah. them out. They're too hard. The enema thing that you use yeah. for your nose. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, they're too hard. You'd have to pick them out with your fingies. Okay, I'm ready. here's some necessary context. Uh, this person tweeted on October second at 10:30 a.m. Oh, that's pretty fresh. This tweet at this point has 106 million views. Uh, it has 74,000 quotes, 31,000 reposts. It has 155,000 likes also, which like That's actually for that many views, though, but also Twitter, uh, yes. they've purposely been like juicing the numbers on everything. Yes. Yes. Um, but still like 155,000 mm-hmm. is nothing to Mm-mm. turn your nose up at. That's still a like pretty like, alarming like, amount of people for what's in this. Yeah. For like post uh, Elon Twitter. Yes. Okay. So the original tweet reads as follows. We'll okay. try to put screenshots up, uh, where we need to, but this says that phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy. Does that mean you come out of that phase? Is my first like, what is that like? It's like a phase. Like it's not like I being an angsty fucking teenager. I don't know. So what? I think first and foremost we should unpack the original tweet because that's to the original me, tweet, correct? Yes. Okay. To me, this is not a thing that I resonate with. I've I don't never gone that at through all. a phase of time where I've hated you. I've never gone through a phase of time where I hated any of my other partners. I just Same. don't like. And if I do go through a phase where you really dislike somebody, then I would just break up with them or not That's be with I, them. Because my question is, too, is like, is if this is happening to you so many times that, like, you feel like this is a fate, like... It's a common Every person thing. you are dating, you end yes. up hating. It's like, if everyone you meet is an asshole, uh-huh. maybe everyone else isn't the asshole. Yes, and it's probably you. That's, like, my immediate, without, yes. like, getting too far into it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to read you some of the replies okay. here. Because it gets worse and worse. Like it just it keeps getting worse. It's Twitter, so, so of course. Um, yeah, for those of you who are not familiar, by the way, especially because Aaron and I never use fucking Twitter, I'm going to explain briefly I've, how Twitter actually works. I had Twitter for two minutes. Yeah. Um, I have a Twitter technically only so that my username doesn't get stolen. Um, Understandable. But I never use it because Twitter scares me. And I don't give a fuck that it's not called Twitter anymore. We will be calling oh, it yeah, Twitter. Oh, yeah, we're calling it Twitter. Also, it literally <laughs> has like the, the Twitter.com url still oh like it's Twitter. also the logo is so goddamn fucking stupid next to all the rest of the social media at, yeah. you know like on page of official yes, pages it's not have, at all it looks fucking stupid like it does look dumb. you have bad taste you don't know how to spend your money you can't yes. you don't actually know how to make a proper investment into anything or like Correct. actually cultivate and grow anything you're just dumb yes. fucking lucky so basically the way that twitter works uh you are limited to a certain number of characters of for your little text yeah uh, posts obviously they're called tweets um, but when somebody tweets something um, it's not so much like comments on like Instagram or Reddit or whatever mm-hmm. it is like a, a thread style situation yeah you can basically see people's replies to this yeah um, and so these aren't necessarily from people who are commenting on this post so much that they are people who see this and then reply with like their own tweet yeah of course but it all gets coalesced into yeah, this one like thread what, so that hashtag, you can like see the point it. of hashtag like yes yeah. exactly yeah. yeah 
Um, listen, I'm just explaining. Thank you for explaining. So that everybody me. understands. Um, so there's a bunch of replies to this, a lot of which now at this point, at the time that we're recording, are people talking about how rancid and fucked up As, this thread is, obviously. But there are some people, a lot of people, who seem to agree with the original subject matter here. Okay, so the same person who posted this original tweet um, followed up with a few others. Um, oh, the good. first one saying, when you keep messing up on purpose so that she can break up with you and she keeps forgetting giving you oh i did i did i never like like just also that's yeah. some fucking you know and also it's like giving that like the outside is like i know we, like the alpha male thing or whatever but like that's some beta ass shit to be like i'm too afraid to bake up, break up with you yes so i'm just gonna self-sabotage and like yeah. also but like at the same time make my life miserable yes well and also essentially use somebody else because also it's so manipulative. Yes. There's some other stuff that's going to become clear okay. in the course of reading these tweets I'll that we'll talk about. The second tweet that this person followed it up with, not that they deserve it, by the way, but we are going to censor their name that's just fair, because yeah. I don't want to dogpile. No, it's, yeah. You know, yeah. But this second tweet says, you'll be having a bad day. And when she hugs you, it becomes even worse. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, like very rarely in my life can I think of someone giving me a hug. And making it worse. Like that's your own shit, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. when people say, like, y'all need fucking therapy, like, I don't understand. Also, then, like, why are you in a relationship with this person? Yes. That's a super valid question. I don't understand. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Also, you're not forced. It's not like it's arranged. Yes. The thing that's interesting to me is that this seems to, this reaction, like, if somebody, because I guess that is a thing that can happen, right? If somebody that you really don't like hugs you, yeah, then that is going to provoke a negative reaction in you, sure, I think right? So, one person one time in our entire life tried to mm -hmm. hug me, but we were beefing, mm. and I was not going to play Happy Family. We went to a concert as a family, uh -huh. and things, right before things <gasps> got really crazy rough. I know exactly yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah, and yes. I was like, I just stood there with my arms down. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to make this as awkward as possible. Yeah, you're like, I, I don't want to I don't want you. this. I don't yeah. want this. But, okay, that's the only so... Time, I, that's crazy. I, that's the only time that, I can ever think. Yeah. Yes. Um, to be fair, I guess, like, it is possible for someone to get a hug from someone that they don't like, right? Of course. But the thing is that this seems to convey this attitude of, like, visceral disgust. Which is interesting what to is me. What is that? You know? Because I, first of all, am not really in the practice of, like participating in shared physical space with yeah. people that I don't like. Of course. Um, obviously, there's like a difference when you're not um, able to exercise your autonomy there and people like violate your boundaries or consent. Obviously, that's different. But I just would not choose to spend time or be in relationship with people who cause me to feel visceral disgust. No. When they touch me. Also, too, like if they're if they're that's giving you a reaction, like just red flag, like just start. Yes. Like, what the fuck? Also, use your words. Yes. I don't know. Like, There's just, like, so many things. Okay, okay. go on, go on. Um, I'm just going to sort of rapid fire read you okay. some of these. Just, like, stop just me. Just fucking yeah. fill me up. Uh, when you open a text thinking it's from the woman you actually want, but it's from her. When you start asking yourself things like, why is her voice so loud, even though it's perfectly normal. When she keeps apologizing, even when you're wrong, instead of asking for a break. You start asking yourself things like, does she have to chew when she eats? Yeah. When she tells you, lately I've been noticing that you, dot, 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 as if to say I've been noticing that you are, you know, yeah. doing something shitty. Um, and in my mind, I'm like, thank God you finally noticed. Yeah. It's like dudes will do everything but actually break. Like, it's just like the, it's even like comfortable. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Like comp head. Like, yes. yes. Uh-huh. Oh. Very much. When you can't let go because you haven't found her replacement yet. Yes. This is sort of like at the core of what I wanted to get to. I need to. a mommy. Uh-huh. I need a mommy. So, okay. There's a lot of interesting discussion to be had about this because we've there's talked so on the main channel and on the pod yeah. about the topics of male alexithymia. I don't know if yes. that episode will be up by the time this is up. If it's not, we have it. I promise it's coming. Yeah. We'll, we'll put it up probably the week after this. For once, we actually had too much content. Yes. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. It's nice. But so we've talked about like men not being able to express their emotions. We've also talked about weaponized incompetence in cishet relationships. Um, we've also talked about like the mommy issues thing yes. and like men using women as a caretaker and using women to like soothe their own um wounds in relationships oh, and stuff yes. right and so like this seems to be like the colliding of worlds of all of those but things. Also the, are you also reading that does that feel like, like the that saying it all out loud like saying all the quiet part because i think too especially too because yes. i consume tiktok through your yeah algorithm. like i don't have <laughs> yeah. a tiktok like i very much try and stay off of social media as much as i can yeah um but it's just like from the other side of like 
you have, I guess from my perspective, is you have these women like yelling yes. and speaking so loudly. Yes, and about, clearly, like, concisely. Men aren't doing this, men aren't doing this. Mm-hmm. Why are like they, yes. like the from the exhausted mom trend to like the, oh, God. the yes. learned incompetence or the, the um, weaponized the incompetence. incompetence. And so you have all of these things and like yeah. women just like being confused and then dudes like, oh yeah, we're totally doing it on purpose. Yes. Like, yes. But then like when you call them out on it, like, oh. Uh huh. Why are you being so mean to me? Being? Oh, but then you have the videos. My favorite is the videos of the boyfriends who cheated on their girlfriend. Yes. Um, just bawling, crying, freaking like, out, being also, so manipulative and abusive. Is, are you crying because you're actually feeling remorseful for no, hurting someone, never. or is it the like the stability of being in a relationship and like yes. having the consistent place to like basically like have sex essentially? Yes. Like, yeah. how much of this is rooted in that? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing that really comes through in all of this is, first of all, that men like to pretend, it, not all men, these men anyways, yeah. um, people like this, like to pretend that... Anyone who's posting something like that on Twitter, like... Yes. Yeah, the, people like this like to pretend that, especially, you know, like what you were saying, we've seen a lot of community building around the topic of women speaking truthfully yeah, and precisely and clearly um, about how frustrated and like yeah. done they are with being partnered to people oh, who are incompetent, who are unwilling to change and like listen and validate their partner who are just like yeah. unwilling to work like on a themselves. A little bit of an uprising, a little bit of a yes, revolution yeah. moment. Yeah. Um, and so they're, the, the reaction from people like this oh to women God. speaking about that is oftentimes really violent. It's really invalidating. And it's also, we, this happens, well, and it happens all the time where people will say, I don't see what the big deal is. Why can't you just write me instructions for how to do the laundry, right? Like, I'll help you. I want to help you, but why can't you just X, Y, and Z? And then people say shit like this on the internet. And so it kind of feels a little bit like, yeah. so you do know. You do know that you're doing it. You do know that you're fucking shit you're up aware. and you're you're making it worse and you're trying to like actively antagonize your partner. But A, you're too much of a chicken shit to leave. And yeah. B, you don't care that you're essentially using somebody and like playing games with somebody's emotions yes. and like their sensitivity for the purpose of like essentially just not being alone. I think the best way to describe it to like if you're ha- like if you having such a hard time understanding why the like weaponized incompetence mm-hmm. thing is so frustrating yeah like just pretend you're at work uh-huh. and you have to explain like a long set of yeah procedures or i don't know yes. whatever you have to do just like yeah, yeah, yeah. something whatever that's really annoying job. and frustrating that like something mm-hmm. like the least enjoyable yes. thing of your job yeah and then if exactly. someone is asking you like how to do that thing yes that you already don't want to do yes and then they're like playing dumb through the whole thing and it's like well fuck at this point i might as well have just, just fucking it. done it myself and then you get locked into doing their job and your yes. job and so now you're frustrated like yes just, if you just paint it in that like it just applies yeah. it's really not that hard of a step but i think for people like this like just we are just yes well and even. that's the thing is that I, I think a lot of people don't have to pretend right because that is a lot of people's reality yeah. with work and stuff but the problem is that men are so happy to sort of write this off as like oh it's just the way that it is oh my god like you i know? don't understand like this, this commitment. is just the normal way that relationships yeah. work well i think that's the thing too when we started unpacking like um because it very much was a brief or not a brief period but a period of time of like the relationship was like so, like i did selfishly center it around myself oh oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying and yes. like when we started unpacking things and mm-hmm. um becoming polyamorous yeah especially um, that and, like I think learning a like, <laughs> desires and needs and wants and stuff yeah and, like, the things that were going like unsaid yes and yeah. i think it's very much like why are we continuing like why do people just think like it just has to, like yes it's just it's giving like, them like i go normal. get my nine to five i get a wife and then like my life's just a drag you know the old yes. ball and chain pop yes. out a couple of kids yes like, it is kind of the boomer thing if, also that's the thing i don't understand too like the whole like the thing that comes to mind is like video games mm-hmm. like the the naggy girlfriend wife oh god phenomena yes where yeah like, this whole motherfucker fallacy. if you want to just be fucking alone well like if you just want to be single you know yeah. the thing uh like women are coming to terms with like singleness being more yes um, yeah the the phrase that people use a lot is that men aren't competing with other men yes. to be in relationship with women they're competing with the peace that women experience yes. in being in solitude yes but like yeah. i think like dudes can do the same Correct. Like, if you want to just go hang out be with your bros yeah I'm gonna be play alone. video games like sure. all, like just fucking do, do that. that like no one's telling you not to do that yes like if society that's a perfectly valid choice yes exactly yeah. like no one's making you be in a relationship like if you don't yes. like women just Correct. don't don't seek out relationships with people that you don't like why you would you understand. do that then do you know what i'm saying because the other thing about this that really pisses me the fuck off is that besides the fact that this is like cowardly it is. to it continue totally is. participating in a relationship with someone that you very obviously just drag don't them seem down. to like um you're hurting them right yeah. which is harmful that's manipulative that seems Especially to be abusive you're actively doing it yes but besides that fact it's like wholly unnecessary 
You know what I'm saying? The it, thing, just, it is unnecessary. The thing that seems to be a theme in a lot of these, though, especially with the, like, I haven't found her replacement yet thing. Oh, my God. That is, is that a... men seem to be under the impression that it's better for them to be in relationship with women uh, than it is to be alone. And I don't think that that's necessarily wrong. Oh, because yeah, okay. men like this are reaping the benefits of having oh. a partner and so it's like the labor thing yes the, yeah yeah you have someone to do your laundry to make your food to be available to you physically and sexually when they you want, want that that they can have uh -huh, sex with uh-huh yeah it's mm, yeah but like people talk a lot about like the, <laughs> the value that people bring to relationships and yeah. like far and away especially in these relationships like women are bringing the value here and like yes. what are you bringing to why would you table? not want to enrich the other person's life Correct. that you're like sharing yeah. also like life's fucking hard and like i talk I about know. this all the time yes. endlessly like it's so fucking difficult yes. for no fucking reason yeah and like why would you actively go out of your way correct to make it more difficult and then to bring someone down with you yes i don't understand it's, it's just so, so demoralizing yeah well yeah and i think a lot of it do does come back to this mm -hmm. like fundamentally selfish and self-obsessed place that like of course first of all this is normal this is the way yeah. that everybody else views relationships when like no it is not but second of all um that clearly if this is uh valuable if this is like workable doable yeah. for me then that's all that matters that's the only variable that i need to think about is how this is affecting me and my life and that's it it's giving the um oh i don't know i guess just to tie this together from one of those other tiktoks you showed me the other day yeah was the mothers love their sons raise yes. their sons we raise our daughters but love, love our, our sons. sons yes mm -hmm. so like, i think when you tie that into like there's a lot of like cultural things that go on mm -hmm. that lead to this attitude and i think yes. this is just like this in, yes. encapsulation of that like yes all fucking very much right so. here just loud as fuck mm -hmm. annoying and just gross and disgusting yes um for those of you who are not aware by the way what aaron's referring to is a phrase that's commonly used um if you are the emotional support eldest daughter you'll probably resonate with this topic but the phrase is that we raise our daughters but love our sons yeah essentially referring to this phenomenon where especially um mothers seem to take out their self-esteem conflicts their internalized misogyny um Fat phobia yeah their own internal issues they seem to take that out on their daughters particularly their eldest daughters yeah um by making them parentified by being very critical of them by um projecting their own issues their own hatred of themselves onto their daughters yeah really forcing this attitude of like it's your job to be a caretaker to be responsible to be high achieving to be effective to like never fail do everything correctly do everything all the time do for everything. everyone caretake everything everyone that you know forever and for excellently. always yes without fail but then there's this coddling attitude that happens for their sons um that like don't you hurt my little baby your your mommy's the little mom. yeah the yeah. bestest little boy um and like nobody's good enough for you sweetheart like that kind yeah. of thing um and this does seem like the boys who are treated this way in childhood turn into men oh who goodness. assume that all women's role is solely to caretake and, and be available that. for men. Yes. yes, that that's enough for them. Yeah. That relationships are inherently supposed to be structured in this way where women don't have needs, women don't have wants, and even if they do, they're not entitled to ask for them to be met because yeah. their primary goal is to be available and like validating first and foremost to men. And I think which like obviously breeds yeah. toxicity. And also too, I think that uh you were talking to me about this last night. The track yeah. wife thing is not oh, there is no It's not a thing. It's yes. not even a thing. No. I didn't realize that. Like I thought that, like those values, I guess, but like it's yeah. like a fundamentalist thing. Yes, it's literally Trad a construct from the fifties. Literally, yeah. yeah. The whole idea of like trad wives being a uh, uh, hearkening back to the natural order of Which relationships. Just always sounds so right. Like every time, it anytime, is, anytime it is. anyone or anything is trying to invoke <laughs> the past yes. as being superior or uh -huh. uh, like Getting then the back to our like, roots. It's racism. It it's is. Racism. It always is. Like, just fucking don't. It always comes please, back to racism and anti-blackness. Especially like, as the election gets closer again. Like, it's yes, racism. Please it's don't always, forget. Yeah. God, fuck. It all ties back to a central theme, oh, which is racism. I, I remember having to explain that to people. At work. Like, I just like, oh, I, I don't even know how I had it's to. It's so like, frustrating. I just it makes get, my blood. I, I give up. I gave up. <laughs> yes. Because it's just like, I'm like, never mind. If yeah, well, committed. yeah. Because at a certain point, you're having a conversation with someone who's committed to oh, misunderstanding you. And so. It's just a losing battle. But um, yeah, the, the whole like trad wife phenomenon is not a thing. Like historically, yeah. when we look at the role of women in families and in communities, it was rare for women to never leave the home or for their only role to be child rearing. And especially like the the adoration yeah. of their husbands, this like unending, Un yeah, unyielding. Constant, yes, this constant love and affection oh. and attention and, and like uplifting of men yes. as their primary role was not really a thing. 
right? Like, especially when we look at... But also, um, what a weird subservient role to put. Yes. Um, but when you look at, like, across cultures, the the role of motherhood, obviously, is a sacred one that's important. Of course. Uh, but there was also, like, a greater role within the community. Like, a lot of women worked outside of the home as, like, people who helped with childbirth or, yeah. like, especially in an agricultural sense, right? Like, there was labor to be done on, like, yeah. a homestead or whatever the fuck. You don't have a choice. Yeah. Um, but, like, even just broadly, women participated in the community in a really meaningful way. Yeah. You know, this idea that women only existed to be available to one man in this nuclear family situation where you live in your house in the suburbs and you do nothing like that's a construct, literally a product of men feeling their, their men's feelings being hurt after World War II because yeah. women took their jobs. And so they said, fuck you, like go back to the house and like be barefoot and pregnant. Like which, that's literally all that it is. Which I think too why the like anti-fundamentalism yes. content is so important because that's yes. the only culture I can think of. I mean, okay, never, that's not true. I want to well, say okay, only. Fair. I can think some other, but not without. <laughs> it's like a primary one in at the least United that's States. A, that we can yeah, that's easily fair. and visually see like yeah, yeah. Ex explain and see, that's you know, fair, that we're familiar fair. with. Yes. It's like almost like a recruitment tool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like my grandma thinks it's my birthday today. Oh, it's our wedding anniversary. Yeah, she's. Oh, hey everyone. <laughs> It's our wedding. It's anniversary. our wedding anniversary. That's really funny wow. that we're talking about this on our wedding anniversary. Yeah, that is actually. sweet. We got married uh, at the courthouse yes. in 2015. Okay. And then we had our wedding a year after that. 2016. Yes. So we've been seven. Well, we had our wedding. Yeah. Six. Two. Twenty. Math. Four plus three is seven. Seven. Yeah. We've been married for eight years. Our wedding anniversary seven. is seven years. Good for us. Wow. Go team. Well, that was, <laughs> that was a high terrible five. high five. Can we redo that? Yeah, of course. That was a good one. That's how you do it. All right. Happy anniversary, Pumpkin. Happy anniversary. We did it. Okay. Our wedding was so cute. Um, it was. Maybe we'll we, talk about we our scrapped, wedding sometime. We scrapped or all the money together that we could. Oh, yeah. All we right. Anyways. Tangent. Um, yeah, sorry. So we were talking about trad, trad wives. wives. Oh, oh yeah, because you were saying like for, fundies. Um, it's yeah. like one of the only cultures that like uplifts that also, value. Also, no wonder these men in those. Anyways, back to the Twitter thread, though, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's read some more of these tweets. Um, yeah, I hit suppose me with we've them. tangented. Tangented. tangented for a while okay so yeah here's another one that says me uh praying she sees this thread so she can break up with me herself when you start asking yourself things like why is her voice so loud even though it's perfectly normal you would be ghosting her and she would still be texting you i just want to make sure you're okay you can talk to me like that is so sad yes like also again can we just talk about the emotional manipulation that you're putting someone else correct. through correct like Yes. That is fucking insane. Yes. Why are you treating people like that? That's but also so fucking rude. Also, the sorry, go ahead. The thing that comes to mind though, like you is like there's someone throwing themselves that you care so much about you. Yes. And you're just like repulsed. Fuck you. Literally. I don't understand. Yes. That's what I was gonna say is that this attitude that someone genuinely caring for you is a nuisance yes. to you is wild. Like just to me. fucking like please like release them. Yes. Okay. Fuck. But there is another interesting take about this. I'm sure that everybody, if you're watching this, you are aware of who drew. I think her last name is pronounced Afwalo. Afwalo. I have no. I'm really Afuelo. bad with names, but I'll. I know. I'm so sorry, Drew. But Drew obviously is like a huge influencer on TikTok, and she makes yeah. a lot of content talking about the toxic ways that men speak about and like try to degrade women. And she made a TikTok talking about how um, a lot of the tweets and like rhetoric from like these shitty rancid men comes off as almost like a fan fiction. I don't, no, for real though, like it really does though. What? Yeah. What are your thoughts about this? Because there is some like. Are these men literally just fantasizing about yes. abusing women? Because it seems oh, that way. Oh, abusing women? Well, I mean, this is or, abusive behavior. Oh, yeah. absolutely. I also always wonder if it's this thing, too, where, like, you put a bunch of men in a room and they're like, oh, yeah, fuck our wives, man. Mm -hmm, like, fucking, mm -hmm. I hate being married. I hate having kids. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. I wish I could just be a be a single dude again. And yes. you're like, weren't the days so good then? With the the glory, boys. The glory days, you yeah. know, and that whole shit. And then, like, get home and you're like, oh, honey, like, what can I do, do for you? Do you rub my feet? Well, like, okay, but also, too, like, yes. Like, I, so think I can't tell if it's, like, the echo chamber thing. I think there's definitely a, a flavor of that where, yeah. like, they like to pretend that they dislike being partnered also, to women. It's cool to hate women because yes. it's fucking macho to be yes. like, oh yeah, like my bitch in the back, you know, like that. Yes, like, gross, fucking um, nasty. But I think there is also an aspect of this of like, I hate women yeah. because I can't find a partner who will like 
put up with me. And so therefore oh, I'm yes. going to participate in this communal echo chamber, um, a, to receive male validation, of because course. obviously that's what they care about more. Um, this is the male gaze thing. Um, we'll talk about that in a second, but also because my misogyny is like leaking out because I'm mm. upset about the fact that I can't like essentially force a woman into servitude. Oh, yeah. No one will actually fucking put up with my bullshit. And so I'm just going to pretend like, Oh yeah, I've totally hated my girlfriend too. Ha ha ha. Uh, Meanwhile, time. like I, I don't have a, her. I haven't had a girlfriend in like fucking, a decade yeah. you know what i'm saying like yeah. that kind of energy well it's like you can't you can't i can't get hurt if i just yes you know like I, yeah. i'm choosing to be single i well yeah and i'm like pretending that i hate women and i don't want yeah. to be partnered with anybody when actually i'm just like desperately lonely well and i think the important thing to note here too is like society and culturally like men are so positioned to be in relationship with women yeah or like are in need of relationship with women yes whereas women yes. are not in need of relationship no. with men yes like it's exactly. very, especially now also, and like i know dating apps and stuff are a hell obviously and they do fucking suck we know that more now know than ever come, yeah i can say that <laughs> confidently but yeah. also at the same time like this dichotomy exists because of these cultural norms yes, and like this that attitude. are oppressive to women the, and the thing we talked about too and you talked about this in one of your um videos where like yeah. if you're gonna go out looking for dates and stuff and like dating in person and all that kind of thing too like mm -hmm. it's not cool to be the person in the corner like yeah i don't give a fuck i don't yes. give a shit i don't want to fuck it yes. like, like it's not cool to be like yeah i'm in a relationship i don't give a shit i don't yeah. give a fuck like oh i don't, I don't need care. you yeah like exactly. oh do you need to go like home or anything like no i don't give a fuck yeah that's like, not, cool. It's not cool it's not cool it's very childish actually it is the, it's like the, 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 whoever cares the least yes yeah yeah we talked about this in a video about making friends actually which at the time that this goes up i don't think that video will, will be, be live yet um but it is coming i made a video for you guys who have questions about how to make it's friends really good. um it's a little two-parter i'm very proud of it but we talk in that video about how toxic and unhealthy and childish it is to have this fake facade that you put on of like being the one who cares the least you know and it's a self-protective measure like a lot of us do this because we're insecure because we're uncomfortable and like it is a very human well. reaction yeah. yes but the problem is that it does very much limit your connection with people because if you're the person in the corner who's like i don't need friends i don't care or like i'm too cool for you're this brooding and like i'm too cool uh, to like be in love with you or to like yes. really care i don't care about you as much as you care about me yes. like this is a, a connection issue in your relationship but then. then can we also talk about dudes being like damn women just play so many games i can't yes. fucking stand oh, it like yes never straightforward like damn yes. I, women are so hard to understand like fuck, Meanwhile, how, do you, how do you even talk to women yes i women literally are... had people like oh i didn't know you had to talk to the, um i literally had someone tell me like i didn't know you didn't know how to talk to women um and i was like like people first yo, first of all what, what does do that fuck, mean what does that mean what do you talk, fucking mean i'm so confused by what men's perspective uh, you know what it reminds me of? You know what it reminds me of? Well, tell me. Fucking Date Mike from The Office. It is Date Mike. <laughs> Like, it is date Mike. He went and put on this weird hat and this creepy <laughs> facade because, like, that's how you talk to women. Yes, yes. It really, I know that that's like but he was totally fine before that. Yes, the, the she perfect, actually liked him before yes. that because he's just like him, his goofy, silly little self. Yes, but then he like tried to be cool and like so, you know, like suave also, and like unattached, and it fucking blew up in his face. Like, guys, if there's any of you watching this, like, if you made it this far, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, but like for real, fair. like pets and what people are interested in. Yes, like. We, I say that I, all the time. I, like, I, I have given this advice to your friends that they are like very confused and like shy in trying to like talk to women yeah. when they're dating. And the thing that I say all the time is that if you want to be interesting, be interested. I, most People of the time when I, I really yes. value having someone want to know about them. Of course. Uh, but like the thing is that if you're not genuinely interested in someone, it's never gonna, that's a you problem. Yeah. Like no you wonder it feels so fucking hard. approaching that person. Yes. yes. No wonder it still so, feels so difficult to be yes. in a relationship. Yeah. I think like uh, people make comments about our relationship a lot of the time too, about how like you guys just seem to really like each other or like you guys really seem like best friends well, and whatever. Yes. Well, yes. And I think that's the thing is that if The you, trauma helps too. Let's be real. Yeah, that's fair. Our shared trauma history does help. And I, to be fair, like. Like, I want to be clear, Aaron and I have, like, I think a pretty healthy relationship. I like to think so. Yeah. Um, but, like, obviously, we're not perfect people. Oh my I, God, just no. as a friendly reminder, we're like, obviously, we're not having, like, our fights on the internet because that's awkward and weird for everybody. We're not a certain, a certain <laughs> couple. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we are still, like, normal people who have fights yes. and toxicity. So, like, just to be clear. But, like, that is very much a thing that we continue to come back to in yeah. our relationships is that, like, it's not hard for me to talk to you because I just think you're cool. Cool. Like, also, I just think you're great, you also, know, like, like I value spending, you as yes, a human. Yes. And so, of course, even like when we are having a difficult time or mm -hmm. there's like a conflict or if I am going through a phase of time where I'm like touched out or like really oh, like low yeah. emotional I have, battery, yeah. I don't have a hard time communicating that to you because I just like I want 
to feel close to you. Yeah. So, like, of course, I would want to tell you that. I don't understand, you know? too. Also, yeah, I think the other thing, too, oh, no. What? My thought is leaving. Oh, I hate that. I can, like, literally physically see my words. <laughs> They're over there right now. Son of a You're bitch. talking about friends. Take it away. I'm pumpkin. sorry. I hate when that happens. Hopefully, it'll come back to you. But I feel like that is a, a central theme of mm-hmm. this thread also is that there seems to be a lot of men in this thread who conceptualize relationships as being in their own independent category yeah. from relationships generally well right? they sound like, inherently adversarial yes yes this is the thing like there is a, a common sentiment in like the the female empowerment yeah. part of the internet um that really does wonder if these men actually like women or they just like being inside and of something. And we talk something. about this all the time. Yes. I think too the greatest advice and like once we figure this out, like yeah. truly was like a turning point in our relationship. Yeah. But like this is the best advice ever is like look at things mm-hmm. as not you and your partner versus like yeah, not Mickey not, versus yeah. Aaron. Yeah. Like this is Mickey and Aaron versus X. Yes. Like yeah. whatever problem you're having, mm-hmm. just frame it from like it's getting in the way of you having a functioning, healthy, yeah. happy relationship. There's this thing that's like creating discourse Teamwork. for us yes. or difficulty for us. Like we literally talk all the time. Like our favorite thing is like accomplishing things together because yeah. we're also type we're, A little Yeah, we're freaks. little weirdos. Um, um, wow. That was really I'll, cute. I'm keeping that one in. It was so good. <laughs> Go on. Um, but no, I think like this is, I think a, a good example of like what I mean when I say yeah. that like these men conceptualize relationships or like romantic relationships as being different than relationships generally that like just love the relationships women. that you have with your friends where like you just genuinely like them as people even though sometimes they're obviously annoying right yeah, or they're get difficult under your skin, like everyone of and you get under yes. my skin too like obviously. and vice versa like yes. of course um, but your romantic relationships you shouldn't be approaching them that differently oh. from your romantic ones. Um, or from your, from your friendship, whatever. I don't remember which one I said first, but you get the point. <laughs> because fundamentally, we're talking about building a relationship on shared connection, on shared values, on like uh, enriching shared experiences. Yes. And the difference in romantic r- relationships usually is that there's some aspect of like romantic love, or sometimes there's physical love, sometimes there's sexual love, right? Um, there's like an intimacy that's slightly different than a platonic friendship. But like otherwise. But like, it, yes, exactly. It's like percents it's, different. It's adding in the romantic, sometimes physical, sometimes sexual yeah. love, as opposed to being completely different, right? And then if you- it, t- It's just confusing to me that like some of these men seem to have such a hard time understanding that like you shouldn't feel that differently about your partner than you do about like your best friend or like, yes. you know, close loved ones. You're just not fucking your friends. Exactly. Unless you're polyamorous. Which is fine. Yeah. If you fuck your friends, that's none of my business. Exactly. <laughs> but I just, like, I don't understand why people can't- view it that way because it really is not that different I, it seems like men are really the page. Under this impression that like being in a relationship with a woman is so difficult like because I can't have, what I can't they fathom. need is so complicated and like literally it's not i know most like it's so exhausting and it's mm-hmm. so much work and it's so much energy and effort yes no meanwhile women really are out it. here like forming whole subcultures on the internet talking about their wants their needs their values the their bar. hopes for relationships and the bar is so so low that's the thing too is that people like by and large people are not looking for a partner to be this larger than life no. or like highly accomplished perfectly intuitive them, yes wants to like be there yes. be interested in them watch them succeed yes someone who wants to want to be there yeah so or someone who does just want to be there like, you know what i'm saying like that's not complicated like, there is another tiktok t- tiktok trend <laughs> TikTok trend that's happening right now, um, especially because it's fall okay. and there's a lot of. Is this the door again? No, 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 no. Oh, this is on. the the so apple picking thing. Um, the Tell cis yeah, head yeah, women know. making TikTok sort of joking uh, about yeah. how you have to drag your boyfriend yeah. to go to the apple orchard with you or to go pumpkin patch picking with you. And of course, there's like, you know, TikToks of the men acting like, oh, this is so annoying. And Isn't like, their straight face, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, really sad, like, obviously looking annoyed. Yeah. And there, it's presented as if it's a joke, as if this, this is, is a the, completely uh, normal thing that we all experience. It's ha, the dopey ha, ha, husband, ha, ha. Everybody's yeah. husband hates spending time with them. Everybody's boyfriend hates going. Going no, on literally. dates with you and like that's not how it should be that's like not that <laughs> that's not what healthy relationships look no like shit. i think especially because we're also, on we're... like a queer side of tiktok yeah we end up seeing that a lot where like people in queer relationships are like are you okay no, like honestly. why do you guys seem <laughs> to not enjoy yeah. just spending time together you know like not even necessarily on dates but just like sharing Generally, space i don't understand 
I know two are like on the other end because the enmeshment is so strong. Yeah, that's true. We should probably own that. We're deeply enmeshed. The enmeshment enmeshed. is like our force. Yes, you know, we're like and it just permeates just this our... side of codependent. I absolutely. Think. Yeah. <laughs> like even right now, we're almost too far apart from each other for me to even function. <laughs> Can I come sit in your lap? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, but um, I don't know if that'd be podcast appropriate. No, um, I but, don't think so. Um, well, thank you for perfectly <laughs> distracting me. Like for us, a lot of things <laughs> revolve around us being anxious little beings. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand. Like you're not being forced. No, I just that's the thing that I, I always come back to is like yeah. no one's forcing you to have these relationships with people. Yes, like you you would think they were being forced to like yeah. on the relationship yes. escalator They're to their worst hostage. enemy. Yeah. What is going on? I don't know. That's so weird. I guess the other part of this conversation that's probably pertinent is the discourse about how relationships and communities among cishet men okay. is very lonely because this it, is directly this, yes. tied to the alexithymia thing where totally. like cishet men, especially like systemically, societally have been discouraged from yeah. being open and honest about their emotions, yeah. right? That means that in relationship with other men, there is a social capital aspect to yeah. pretending that you don't have feelings because that makes you either feminine or gay or you know, disapproved some of other in some way. Term. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, and so that means then that those relationships are inherently less intimate. There's less of a shared emotional connection yeah. because you never talk about your emotions, which is deeply lonely. Oh, yeah. You know? And so I think for a lot of people who subscribe to that belief system, relationships with women serve the purpose of providing you with a vehicle to actually talk about your emotions yeah. and be like vulnerable in some capacity, except that it, it is this like service provider thing. I don't value the, my the relationship container. with you because I love you. Yeah. I value my relationship with you because I can't do this with my bros. Yes. So you get to be the person that You're I, again, like I want to have uh, like a sexual relationship with you, but also because I want the male validation of like, I'm partnered and like, look at me, I like yeah. found a girl it's a social, it's and a social... I need a place for my emotions to go. So like, you're my emotional dumping ground. Yeah. I think especially too, in the like, um, cis hetero space too, like yeah. the being on the relationship escalator, like being in a relationship with someone and then getting married yes. and like that. Yeah. Yeah, love kids. marriage baby carriage thing like you're like acquiring social capital yes by doing yes. this it's all and about power therefore if you're doing the opposite you have less capital mm -hmm. which is not how it therefore, should be but then, like, forces people to be in these relationships that i feel like they really are just settling yes and like are clearly miserable yes this is not me like also like i if people are happy to do this like that's fine yeah but that's then like don't business. get on the internet here and tweet about how yes. you're purposely manipulating your partner into breaking yes. up with you so you just don't have to do it because yes, you can't which is fucking also own up which is also like being a man, then like, but you can't fucking break but up with your partner. you're a coward. Yes. Partner. Um, well, and the other thing about this too is that I just, I want to be super clear. If you find yourself on the receiving end of this type of behavior, regardless of what your gender or, um, you know, assigned to sex yeah. is, um, that that's fucked up, right? Like nobody should have to deal with that or put no. up with that. Nobody deserves that. And this is so very much not fucking normal. Like this may be a like somewhat I, common phenomenon, right. but that doesn't mean that it's good and it's not something that should be normalized. Oh, please. You know what I I'm know. saying? I feel like Twitter too. And I, I this is why I Ooh. really don't. Yes. I hate Twitter I, sometimes. Like the platform is great for news and like in demand things. Sure. Yeah. Like, uh, Trending. Current, Topics. things that are happening like right now yeah but like when we we vocalize and we yes. kind of like that it's thing where like you get a couple thing. people in a room and like oh yeah how do you feel about this like yeah, yeah. me too actually yeah and like really it's like a small sect of people yeah but now it's been magnified and yes. amplified yeah and it's like please don't normalize please don't this. normalize that yeah like um, well, the other thing about this, too, that it kind of reminds me of how in like a post Trump world, okay. it's not that there are more racist people than there were before. There are more. It's just that they're more comfortable to yes, say that out confidence. loud. And so I think this is kind of one of those moments it where it's not that there are more men who are misogynist now than there were before. They just it's feel. just that they are outing themselves more comfortably. Yeah. Um, and that's something that's important to pay attention to. And right? also, too, then like anyone who's ever posted anything in here and like I don't ever want to fucking hear it yes. about like, I can't no one will date me yes no, and this blah, is why blah, blah, blah. because like, you dehumanize and devalue your partners like i i hope they go yes. on a date with someone who's like oh why is your name or like this yes. is weird like you feel this way about uh -huh. this thing yes exactly litmus tests are important like this is not an okay thing to be doing Absolutely and it also in my opinion like 
have, means you have some real work to do around the way that you conceptualize relationships. It all goes you know? back to therapy. Honestly, everything is all about therapy. It's always, always. therapy. What is that? Um, therapy and child. I, well, I made a, a meme about Robert California a really long time ago. What does he say in the show? It's always sex. It's all about sex. It's always, oh, everything yeah. is sex. Yeah, I feel like that about it's, therapy. It's, it's all, like everything is trauma. Everything is trauma. <laughs> it's all trauma. It's all childhood no, wounds, really is, though. which no, is a really fucking is. joke, to be clear. Um it's a joke. Every joke has a little <laughs> bit of truth. There's always going to be a comment from someone who goes, actually, there's other things. And like, of course there are. Of course there are. But no, this does feel like one of those moments that like this is, and this is why everyone should go to therapy. There's so many things. When she says, talk to me and you know, she's not worth the effort. So you just tell her it's fine. Yeah. When you ghost her and she ghosts you back and it's like a gif of a soccer player celebrating after he makes a goal. Just like, are you Okay. When you purposefully unlock your phone so she can see that you've been cheating on her. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff like that in here. Yeah. Um, I think there's just a lot of the same in That's what there. It seems like, yeah. Um, the ones about like unlocking your phone so that she can see that you've been cheating on her are like an honorable mention for rancid, in my opinion. I just don't like the thought that comes to mind, like it's just again like so unnecessarily cruel. Yes. Also, I just find it hard to believe that that's actually a thing that's happening. Yeah. You know, like I refuse to believe that men who are this hateful and shitty and misogynistic are like just like like they're in so many relationships, like they're Mm -hmm. cheating on everybody with everybody like that. It's giving like I'm a high value male. No, yes. You know I what I'm saying? Say, I was like, are you actually like, I, yeah. like, I find it so incredibly. That one very much feels that, like the thing where like I'm fantasizing about how much I wish I could shit on women, yeah. except that I can't convince a woman to stand in the same room with me for longer so, than 30 seconds. You know? Like we're just like projecting to everyone else out. Yes. Like we're, yeah. we're protesting. Well, and especially the thing about like wanting male validation. There was another oh, one in there yeah. about like um, when she says, I love you and all of your homies are waiting to see how you respond. Like, If you are this obsessed with men, then like you have some deeper thinking to do about like what is important to you in your life and like what type of relationships you need to be pursuing. Because if your primary goal in life is achieving male validation, like that's a you problem. But then also goes back to like being too cool for school thing. Like, yes, it's cool to not love. Correct. Someone else who's loves you. And my friends are going to celebrate me for shitting on my girlfriend. In front of them. Like, why? Would you? That's weird. <laughs> that's a it fucking, doesn't make any fucking sense. weird take. It really it's is. It's gross. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a nice way to, to sum it up, that it is gross. I think that's a nice place to wrap up. I think so, too. For today. So too. This episode feels like a good one for us to have some recommendations at the end oh, that yeah. are like eye bleach. Do you have anything off the top of your um, head? Acid wash jackets. <laughs> acid wash everything. Okay, love. Um, have we recommended thrift shopping yet? If we haven't, this episode was was this it. Was, this episode was sponsored by Thrift Shopping. I think that's going to be my recommendation. Oh, um, Hannah came and visited us for a little yeah. while, and we went thrift shopping with her while she was here, and it was so fun. Um, it was a good time. Thrift shopping is one of my favorite things because I we feel like good, we had a good go of it. This it's we did well, and I feel like it's an interesting way to see like culturally, like what the what the vibe is for yes. where you're visiting. It's I know my we're new favorite definitely thing. we're definitely doing that. Anytime we go Me anywhere too. from now on, we're finding thrift shops. Yes, because I feel like it's just so interesting. It's so different, like regionally, yes. even at, like from city to city, it can be really oh, different. Oh, definitely. Yeah, so I think that's my recommendation for the week is to carve out some time to go thrift shopping. It's good for the environment. Yeah. It's good for your also, heart. It changes all the time too. It's like it a does. fun little little adventure. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. Even here, like yeah. like week to week, the thrift store has new stuff. Yeah. So uh, that's my recommendation. Awesome for the week. Uh, thanks for coming, yeah, everybody. Thank you guys for listening. Mm-hmm. If you like the podcast and you want to support us, obviously you can like the video here, but you can also subscribe on whatever platform you're listening on Absolutely. and leave us five star reviews if you like us. I guess you can leave us shitty reviews too if you don't like us. That's it's really whatever fine. you want to do. Yeah, that's your choice. I think that helps the algorithm too. So you're actually just doing us a favor. <laughs> yeah, so. thanks. Thanks for that. Appreciate right. you. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Perfect. Ready to get out of here? Yeah. We'll right. see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.